uh, some uh, music bands uh, play on the stage mm -hmm. with uh, many guests uh, occupying the benches. And yes, just to remember, that is chemistry. Chemistry, yes. And uh, that is the physics. physics. The physics. The mathematics. And the mathematics. Yes. Yeah. Mathematics, physics, physics chemistry. And chemistry. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Uh, two clusters. Uh, so okay. One professor is working with semiconductors. Okay. And then our group is with superconductors. But I particularly am no longer working with superconductors. It's so you work with semiconductors? Yeah, semiconductors, but a new type. So nanomaterials, graphene. Graphene? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, devices made from the Devices for graphene? Yes. Oh, like okay. Solar cells. Oh, for solar cells. Okay, nice. Yeah. So, sir, uh, I'll go straight to, to the superconductivity part, okay? Okay. Are you an uh, experimental? Experimental, uh, not theoretical, Te experimental. So this is BJ. Oh, hello, BJ. Nice to meet you. This is Los Santos. So this is Dr. Los Santos of Cambridge. <laughs> so this is our little transport. <laughs> it's been here since, uh, I think, 1990. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so my advisor built this system. Mm -hmm. so this is our current source, multimeter, and yeah, first. Yes, what do you measure with this? Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, for uh, uh, magneto, resisti magneto resistance. Yes. Ah, oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. So, uh, what do we have? Uh, so, BJ here is working with, uh, he wants to make uh, Josephson junctions. Ah, Josephson junctions. Yeah. Nice, nice. He also uh, makes thin films. Ah, really? So, yeah, yeah. Which uh, materials you use for the Josephson junctions? The one. Ah, okay, bismuth is the one. Yes, it's a famous one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, this is it. So this is the... The proof. Yeah, yeah the, the, the scanner, tip. Yeah. yeah, the scanner. Yeah, the system, and then the rest is just... Yes, 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 yes. Sometimes you just use this. Uh, yes. And uh, do you use this uh, AFM or also MFM or EFM? Yeah, it, it can do anything. And uh, nice. Yeah, yeah, but the environment is just um, ambient atmosphere. So nice, nice. Yeah. Um, I hope eventually I could do uh -huh. a bit more sophistication with it because okay. the controller is isolated from, from the scanners. Nice, nice. Yes. Okay, and this part. Uh, uh, so hmm. This is uh, This is a new area. We don't know what to do with this yet. Uh, so uh, an optical, ta <laughs> optical table. <laughs> then, uh, I know. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Oh, the thing is this is This is again a uh, superconductivity lab part, so I'm, I'm really sorry our aircon was it's no longer working. Okay. This is our graduate student Shello. He's doing Hello, magnetic uh, magnetic characterization, AC susceptibility. Very nice to meet you. Yeah, so this is Dr. Del Santos. So this is our AC magnetic susceptibility. Yeah. So we have a kind of primitive magnetic uh, mag magnetization measurement. Mm -hmm. So I used to do that uh, that measurement also. Okay. Um, so unfortunately, our compressor uh, broke down. Yeah, a few months ago. So we had it repaired. It also has a compressor, but shall we it in the chamber? Yeah. So the chamber is also not here. Okay, but, don't worry. Uh, basically, um, it, it's just a simple mutual inductance mm -hmm. transformer. So you uh, most I, I can understand that you usually studied uh, just some conjunction, the resistivity, uh, magnetic resistance, uh, superconductivity, and that. Um, basically, that for for devices. Yeah. Okay. For devices, but. We also have a bulk magnetization, so AC loss, okay. AC loss mechanism, and actually in the past we tried to also thin film AC mm -hmm. magnetic susceptibility. So this is our sample prep. So this is where they do all the grinding. Okay. Yeah. So sonicators and then agates, of course. Yeah, yeah. And then these are new ones. So uh, polishing machines. Yes, to polish for the contact later and so on. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah for and polishing. For the substrate, because we don't really want to throw away our bad samples with a. Uh, uh, what kind of what kind of substrate bathroom. do you use? It's usually MGO. MGO. Yeah, and okay. then there's also strontium. Okay. Strontium titanate. Mm -hmm. I don't know if one person you're using aluminum. Yeah. I'm not really sure. Okay. This is our dicing saw. Mm -hmm. So we cut cut samples with that. Uh, so did you need to do the uh, sintering. Yes, yes. Oh, uh, well, where do you use the sintering usually? Yeah, um, well, let's go upstairs. Okay, well, let's start. We have so many rooms. <laughs> ah, the ovens. Uh, this is uh, tubular. tubular ovens. Yes. Yeah. And then, oh, this one. This is my favorite. Uh, rapid thermal annealing. So a rapid thermal annealing. Yeah, so someone puts... What is the temperature? Ah, yeah, the, yes, the aluminum here. Yeah. yeah. The aluminum here. Yeah. yeah, someone puts a usually thin film here and then mm -hmm. heat it up very high temperature and then put it here. And then uh, after a few minutes, you pull. <laughs> yeah, so what, what is the, uh, the the temperature we can't reach this? Uh, <laughs> 1,000. Same thousand. 1,000. Okay. 1,000. The limit. The limit 1,000. Yeah. All of this. Yeah, all of these because it's just, uh, I think it's ordinary cantal wire, okay. the long one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and then, yeah, all of these are for annealing and then there's also, there's also a furnace here just for zinc oxide. Okay. So they use it. But we're trying to build uh, a more uh, sophisticated one, this one. <laughs> this is, this is the newest one. So. We're hoping that this will reach 1,700. Yeah. Yeah, and then we're putting in a quartz tube inside. Uh, so basically in our cluster, it's called the Coherent Metrology Cluster, and we focus on digital holography, uh, phase retrieval, uh, digital chirography, uh, basically current metrology techniques. Mm -hmm. So our setups mainly com uh, compose of lasers, uh, mm -hmm. Optical elements. Oh, who is the professor who is in charge of this? Oh, uh, our advisor is Dr. Percival Almoro. Okay, nice. Uh, I think he's currently in Cebu right now, so he's not. Ah, nice. He's in Cebu. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. So, in our cluster, we're working on pulse laser deposition. Okay. And then we have here, we're using two chambers. In this one, we're depositing laser crystals, and in the other one, um, right now, we're, use, uh, we're depositing graphite. Uh, we want to deposit diamond carbon, so we're working on it. Okay. So... And what are the pressures that you use? Uh, what are the pressures? Uh, the, the, the pressure. Um, 10 to the negative 6. 10 to the negative 6. Ah, yeah, yeah. Turbomolecular. Uh, turbo and in this one, uh -huh. we're just using rotary pump for now, but we're going to use diffusion. A deficient pump. Okay, nice, nice. Yes. And what, which materials are you? Uh, you said that diamonds and and uh, uh, graphite. Diamond like carbon. We want to deposit diamond like carbon, but okay. uh, from graphite. Graphite. Okay. And in this one, laser crystal and the other. Okay. Oh, nice. Very nice. Um, um, the laser comes from there. Oh, so. Another room. We don't have. We don't have access to that. No, no work. No work. It's enough. And uh, the professor who is in charge is, is in Cebu, is it? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, Dr. Almoro. Okay. So we only have two doctors in our laboratory. Okay. And, uh, three. One, Atekas is in Japan, so uh -huh. she's not here. Right best two groups. Among best, the best in Zulu. It's from the Super Twin group. Well, the other group, it's a semi group. Mm -hmm. um, after, after, later. Here we have the National Solar Testing Facility in the Philippines. You were talking about this. Mm -hmm. This, um, sir. You're Dr. Luis Villanueva. De Los Santos. De Los Santos? Yes. 
Del Santos from the University of Cambridge, UK. Um, this year, to give a talk on Thursday, but, but don't worry, I don't understand anything about this stuff. <laughs> so uh, that is good. That is a good point. <laughs> Their research um, is involved with uh, solar cells using photovoltaics and licensed solar cells. And they're using this facility. Mm -hmm. They made it themselves. Uh, but then they do it, of course. Uh, so, so uh, what we have here is most people. Uh, current voltage characterization setup. So we can test the efficiency yeah. of our uh, uh, IV characterization yes. and so on. And also to calculate the fuel factor and yeah. And on that table, supposed uh, uh, to be for quantum efficiency, but then yeah. um, we're still missing some parts, so it's not yet fully functional. Okay. Here is the solar simulator. Uh, uh, centimeter and the probe symbol. Uh, 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 what is the, the, the source is for was deep UV, UV, what I mean is the the light, uh, the wavelengths of the light. Uh, it's supposed to simulate the spectrum of the sun, so mm -hmm. at 1.5 EMU. Yeah. So at 12 noon, uh, uh, they should have the same spectra as, as that of the sun. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice, nice. And um, which sample are you working with now? You have a sample that says you have two proofs here. Yes, sir. But yes. What are the proofs made of? Um, gallium, gallium arsenide, and, and sometimes we also use borosilicon as our solar cells. Okay. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, the sample is now. Okay. Uh, gallium arsenide. The sample, but the needles. I. Beryllium copper, maybe? I don't think so, because it's the color is different. Platinum, maybe, or something. Sure. Maybe, I'm not sure. Anyway, because, you know, it depends on the, on the, the proofs that you have one result or other results. But uh, it's a, don't worry. No worry. No worry. <laughs> okay, they are in. These are the undergraduate students. All right. Okay, for MS Physics and MS Material Science and Engineering. Um, and this is Dr. Uh, and <laughs> this is Dr. Luis de, la Cruz. de los Santos. De los Santos, sorry. Hello. From the University of Cambridge, UK. Hello. Um, he's come here to have a talk Hello. on Thursday and also tour the different laboratories and familiarize with the mm -hmm. research that we're doing. Okay. Um, please introduce <laughs> your love. Your okay. The HUHV. So okay. this is the ultra high vacuum room of the semiconductor group. So the condensed, a part of the condensed matter physics lab. Mm -hmm. So in this uh, room, we uh, majorly conduct uh, deposition, metal depositions yes. for uh, contacts for devices. Mm -hmm. uh, this machine is the is for even even deposition and re uh, revamp. So evaporation, metal evaporation processes. Metal, so, uh, all, all type of metals. Uh, we deposit. Uh, what do you work with now? Um, gold. I see gold. Yes. Gold, Germanium. Titanium, germanium. Uh, yes. Silver, maybe. Silver. Yes. Yes. I, I recognize that for the colors. Yes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so yes. We don't deposit uh, conductors for metal here. Uh, no, no. Ferromagnetic materials. Here. No ferromagnetic. No ferromagnetic. Uh, because we contaminate maybe yes. the, okay yes. nice we'll the yeah. so if you work with uh, magnetic materials magnetic uh, metal which chamber do you use uh, we use this um, mm -hmm. sputtering chamber mm -hmm. so we use this so in our lab we have two two, uh, two magnetron sputtering chambers mm -hmm. so this is for ferromagnetic and oxides mm -hmm. uh, so oxide materials mm -hmm. uh, we deposit uh, yeah. precursors for superconductors here or yeah. zinc oxide or mm -hmm. carbon Yes, okay. and the iron here. Mm -hmm. So in this uh, iron magnetron sputtering system, we deposit titanium, aluminum, mm -hmm. and uh, for active processes, we deposit aluminum nitride. Okay. In this chamber. So from here, we, did, we fabricate, uh, from the metals deposited here, we fabricate nanostructures or nan metal uh, nanomaterials based on metal oxides. Mm -hmm. So 
this one we from after depositing here we subject the deposited metal to electrochemical etching or or thermal processes in order to produce oxides. Nice. <laughs> Another machine here is the CBD, but uh, it's not yet functional since we are lacking the electrical lines. Yeah, so it's, it's, so it's not working? It's, not work. it's still not working, but uh, we are working on it. So uh, and with CBD, what do you usually grow? Um, it, is, it was uh, used to deposit silicon and uh, silicon oxide layers mm -hmm. before, but uh, now we don't use it. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Nice. Excellent.